Protestants have in common. It's that they're crushing us at an epigenetic level, altering our genes, and we've got to do something to start protecting ourselves. You know, we eat it, we wear it, we wash our clothes in it, we cook in it, we store our food in it, we lather ourselves in it. It's everywhere. We are living in a soup, if you will, of endocrine disruptors. And also, each of these toxins don't act independently. You know, there's a cumulative effect as well. There was one study that looked at 20 humans, they biopsied their fat, and they found 19 different endocrine disrupting chemicals or toxins at a detectable level in every one of them. All 20 people in the study had 19 different endocrine disruptors in that fat biopsy. There are hundreds of endocrine disruptors and combined exposure to these has a dramatic effect on our testosterone, our fertility, our health, our life. You know, it has a transgenerational effect as well. You know, many of these toxins are affecting germ cells and DNA methylation, and this persists for generations. So we're not just talking about ourselves. It's our children, our grandchildren, and so on. I come home at 8.30, turn the TV to CNN. They tell me I'm the problem. So sick of this, want to give in. I go into my bedroom.